Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. And of course, he's flipped on Libya. Uh, first, we were supposed to take out Gaddafi. Then he said he didn't want to take out Gaddafi. Then he said he did, but not this way. Then he said, um, you know, that uh, he was never for this. Then he said he was, you know, first he said he was for the war in Iraq. Then he said he wasn't for the war. After the war in Iraq was proven to be a debacle, that's when he became against it. So Donald Trump, you can't believe a word Donald Trump says. We know that. But... You know, oh, and also the temporary Muslim ban, which is interesting because Donald Trump would have to ban his business partners. You do know that Donald Trump has an enormous amount of business in the Muslim world, don't you? Yeah, he, uh, he, he, he's got two golf courses he's building in Dubai, the next medical tourism spot for the world. He's got uh, a luxury hotel in Baku, Azerbaijan. And he's got, uh, uh, he licensed his name to a Trump Tower in Istanbul on the Syrian border of Turkey, on the, on the border of, of Turkey. Is Syri- you know, I mean, I've been there. It's a fabulous place, I will say. But, you know, he's just so, he's just such a liar. It's, it's, it's the most incredible thing. So anyway, um, last night, Trump was talking, the whole show was about immigration, the whole show, and Sean Hannity was feeding him the talking points and asking him the questions that Donald would prefer to have asked. And it was really fascinating because even though Sean was spoon feeding him, I guess the, the new thing is, uh, you know, what Kelly, Kellyanne Conway wants and what Kellyanne Conway wants, Kellyanne Conway gets, apparently. Because he asked him a question about um, what do you do for the law abiding, which is almost every single. See, now Latinos, it's your turn. It's your turn. He's already told the blacks they're poor, they're black, they're skinny, they're ugly, and they're women. Look at you. You're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a woman, you're nothing at all. That's Donald Trump's thing, right? So, what do you got to lose, basically? Everything you've done to me be done to you what do you got to lose Seely? <laughs> all right so this was the uh, exchange last night i'll play you the short one first so you get the gist then i'll play you the long one so that you know i didn't edit it is there any the part here. of the law that you might be able to change that would accommodate those people that contribute to society have been law-abiding have kids here would there be any room in your mind or you because i know you had a meeting this week with I did. hispanic leaders I did. I did i had a meeting with great people yeah. great hispanic leaders and there certainly can be a softening because we're not what? looking to hurt people we want people we have some great people in this country we have some great great people in this country so but we're going to follow the laws of this country and there certainly could be a softening of his rhetoric about deporting 11 million with a giant deportation force. The whole thing with the anchor babies, all right? Now, in the 14th Amendment, you know, that really covers it. You need an act of Congress. You don't have to go through a new amendment or anything, a new constitutional amendment. But anchor babies, a woman is pregnant. She goes over to the border, has a baby on our land. Now we take care of the baby for the next 85 years. It's not that way. I must tell you, and I said it wasn't that way, and the legal scholars have now said I was right. I'm not talking about the television scholars. The legal scholars (laughs) say I'm right. If that happened in Mexico, we had a baby in Mexico, the baby, Mexico would throw you the hell out. You know, Mexico is the hardest country in the world just about to become a citizen of. But they send people over here. And I'm not just talking Mexico. They're coming in from Asia. They're coming in from all over the world. Okay, conceptually, I understand what you're saying and what you're describing. But still, tell me that. Are you going to have a massive deportation force? You're going to have a deportation force. And you're going to do it humanely. And you're going to bring the country. And frankly, the people, because you have some excellent, wonderful people, some fantastic people that have been here for a long period of time. Don't forget, Mika, that you have millions of people that are waiting online to come into this country and they're waiting to come in legally okay so he's going to have a massive deportation force and he's going to wrangle 11 million people in the united states and we're going to see camps or we're going to see uh police or we're going to see an army or we're going to see uh i don't know tactical uh uh you know Groups of, you know, forces coming and going into schools and going into, uh, you know, uh, apartments. 
going into houses, going, you know, to to grab the people, the deportation force. Well, Kellyanne Conway didn't like that, as you know. And on Sunday, she said the immigration policy will be announced shortly when she decides what it is. In fact, Donald Trump was supposed to have an immigration speech tomorrow, but they postponed. Because Kellyanne hasn't made up her mind what she wants to see come out of the pie hole, the little round pie hole that is Donald Trump's face. Hi, it's Randy Rhodes. We missed you today for the entire show, whenever, wherever. Go to randyrhodes.com and buy a stinking podcast. And don't forget to catch our show live right here from 4 to 6 Eastern.